Hey kids, welcome to another episode, episode eight to be exact, of Toy Photography Bomb, that is B.O.M, uh, which stands roughly for best of the month. I know there's a missing T there, but uh, which is what myself, hi, Trevor, one six shooter, uh, and a guest photographer will share with you tonight our selections for the best toy photography from the community uh, from the last month, that month being March uh, 2024. Um, now, that is not the result of a contest or voting, simply our choices, myself, my guest, uh, based on what came across our feeds and in the Toy Photography Bomb, which I should have been uh, sharing here. Uh, one of these days, I'll get this right. Um, there we go. Toy Photography Bomb Instagram uh, page, uh, which you can tag. Uh, or you can tag things that you've seen that you think uh, would be worthy uh, to uh, be included in one of our best of the month shows. Uh, we certainly don't see everything. I'm certain we've overlooked some great stuff this month. Uh, and if you've seen any of that, you know, tag us with it. Um, we've got uh, the tagged images here, and you can see there's a lot of great stuff here. Um, the one thing I would ask, uh, make sure it's your best work. Um, we're looking for the best of the best here. You know, so don't just, you know, tag bomb it with uh, every shot you take. Uh, pick your best shot. Uh, if you, and if, you know, help out, the, be a community member. If you see somebody shot who you think, wow, it just knocks your socks off, man. Tag them. Tell them to tag us, whatever you want to do. Um, but we'd love to see some more uh, diverse uh, accounts. I can't follow everybody. I follow a lot of people. <laughs> I think a lot more people than most people follow. And uh, I still I still don't see everything. Instagram doesn't show me everything. I'm not on it 24 hours a day. So I would like to see them show up in our tagged um, section of our page. Uh, you can tag Toy Photo Bomb. You can, you can even tag me if you want, 1-6 Shooter. Um, so yeah, uh, the, the, this is not a competition. There's no prizes. This is just meant to focus on things we love. It's not a critique show. We're not going to tear these apart. We're just going to talk about what, what makes us uh, love them and what makes them great. Uh, I am on a show every Tuesday on Maz's Toy Box channel. Uh, that's Toy Photography Talk, where we do do some critiquing. Um, and, you know, that's what people put them up for, to, to learn something. And we hope that you can learn uh, something from those critiques. Uh, you have to have a little bit of a thick skin and, you know, sometimes you have a little bit of fun with it, but uh, we are generally trying to help people and we've seen a lot of people um, make great strides in there. So uh, if you want to join us on that, that's every Tuesday at 6 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. With that out of the way, uh, let me bring my guest on, hailing uh, from Chi Town, uh, the Windy City. Uh, I believe he started in this hobby and what I was thinking of as the it's kind of like the second great catalyst of uh, toy photography for a lot of people. Uh, the first one being uh, kind of around the time that the, the Force Awakens came out and Black Series. Um, the beginning of 2020 and the start of the pandemic was when a lot of people got even into collecting. And then some of those people uh, either jumped right into toy photography or got to know it and are, are, are you know, starting to, to get into it now. Um, though by looking at this guy's work, uh, even from the beginning, you wouldn't know that he just started a few years ago. Uh, I suspect there's something behind that. There's, there's, there's a little bit of knowledge and some, probably some, some work related, uh, activities that may have, uh, helped him along the way with that. We'll find out in a minute. Uh, his work is filled with action, storytelling, and like crispy details, uh, which we will take a look at in a few. I'm going to share his tab and I'm going to bring him up here. It's Chuck Eiler, AKA kill cutter photo. Chuck, I'm going to take your, I'm going to just bring your photo. There you go. There's your face. What's up, man? How's you, how you doing? Thanks for having me on. Uh, welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks for, for being on. This is, uh, this is more work work than I think people think it is. Like having to remember when you see something to tag it, collect a bunch of them. And then suddenly by the end of the month, you've got like 30 and you have to pair that down to like six or seven or eight. Uh, it's yeah. tough. It's tricky. Uh, and it takes a lot of time. So I appreciate you, uh, taking your time. Let's take a look now. I'm going to jump this back up here. Um, let me get back to our little, there we go. Boom. Um, so this is Chuck's page, Kill Cutter Photo, uh, formerly Kill Cutter, which I'm going to ask you about in a second, <laughs> like what, yeah. what exactly yeah. happened there. Um, but man, I mean, I'll start out right out with this one. I mean, this is insane. Uh, this, this made uh, the show, I believe. I know it was on Maz's show, and I, I think you're, you're, you, you're a finalist in this, right? Yeah, you were, right? For this shot. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Re yeah. Um, this was, uh, 
this is amazing, man. This is incredible work. Uh, gorgeous depth, atmosphere, uh, the Photoshop work on the drool and uh, everything. And when you look at this thing, like you'd see, like that's the raw shot. So uh, yeah, you got some, you got some post editing skills, my friend, post editing skills. Thank you. Where does that come from? Uh, just my my work, you know. I've I've been in um, I've been using Photoshop for a very long time for work. Uh, I, I'm a creative director okay. by trade, so I manage and been a design graphic designer, manage designers, and web go. designers now, and um, just have that background, you know. So I always dabbled in photography well before toy photography. So um, yeah, I figured. Like you said, you were spot on with COVID. Uh, it was more of a you know, I'm trapped inside. I need a hobby. I know I want to do something with photography and Photoshop. Um, right. And and what you know, what what can I do to fill that that gap? And um, when I discovered toy photography, I just like immediately just having a blast with it. You know, and it hasn't slowed were down. you were you a collector before that? Did you have the toys lying around, or did you, it was something you discovered and said, "I'm going to go buy a toy"? Uh, so. I was, I remember visiting uh, my sister in Nashville and her, her son loves Hulk, loves Star Wars, loves Marvel, but loves Hulk. And um, I remember he, he had one of those like 12 inch figures. And I, I just remember sitting there yep. thinking, I wonder if I can make that realistic with photography. And I, I, I'm not even joking. I honestly thought that was an original idea. I thought I had like <laughs> would be the only person right. doing that. <laughs> and so that I, 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 it's ridiculous. Right. So then um, no, it's not. Sorry. It's not. It's our origin <laughs> stories are almost exactly the same here. We're both graphic yeah. design, creative directors. And I d dude, I thought I it was the same thing. I thought I invented it when I came up with it. And, yep. Uh, yep. and then <laughs> so, I just started, so, you know, realizing that this is a whole genre, you know, a whole niche and uh, yeah. just started dabbling and, and then, you know, bought a couple. I, I didn't have one figure I, other than the stuff. From oh, wow. My childhood. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I, I actually had a one Boba Fett and that's the one I first started with. You can probably see it on my okay. page, but, um, mm -hmm. but then yeah, I started getting into it, buying, you know, a couple just investing a couple just to have some to shoot. And then it just kind of took off from there. Insane. Insane. Yeah. So like, go, I won't go too far back. I mean, well, all right, I guess we're going back to the beginning, <laughs> almost the beginning oh, anyway. You don't need um, to. <laughs> Yeah, I know. It's it's I, I I was telling I was just on the uh the behind the plastic and I know you've been on that show as well and they they go back yeah. to your first photo and I'm like that is that is rude and they thought I was serious. I was just kidding around. Um but it is like it is like it's hard for somebody to look at your early work sometimes. But I got to say, man, for early work this stuff is uh, I think I think a lot of people well, how did you let me ask you because so when you started doing this, like did you did this was this like the first thing you took? I mean, not this exact no. photo, but like, was this among the first thing you took or was there a lot oh, yeah. that you tried and didn't publish? And did you learn anything from looking online? Like once you came up with this idea, your original idea <laughs> to shoot toys, uh, did you start looking at other people's work and going, oh, oh, okay. I, oh, oh, I can, I kind of see how this can work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Totally, totally. I, I, you know, then it's just like you start, going on YouTube and watching tutorials. And then, then you get into like, you know, watch, you know, following concept artists or product photographers. And then you start yes. following, you know, miniature builders on YouTube and seeing how they craft little dioramas. Dio girls. guys. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, and it yep. just, you know, you just start kind of piecing it all together. But I started off real simple. Like every, you, all my early shots were literally like dirt from the backyard, sand from the hardware store, <laughs> some rocks, some you twigs, know, tree, sticks, tree branches, just like yeah, this like one, you know, some yep. sticks in a pan of water. Uh, and just because I had the Photoshop skills, I was able to make it a little bit more, um, the, the, make the environment feel a lar lot larger, but literally everything in the foreground is sticks and sand and dirt and, you know, that stuff from awesome. around the backyard. So I, I know you still do a lot of um, digital, but you, you've mixed some digital, you still do a lot of digital uh, post work, right? I mean, for most of your stuff, yeah. not all of it, but most of it. Usually, um, it's all like the, the background objects. So the, yeah. everything in the mm -hmm. foreground, I try to keep as practical as possible, unless it's just yep. a such a cool idea and it's not possible. You know, sure. Um, yep. There, there's, I have so many ideas where it's like, okay, Back I don't have time to stuff. build that diorama, but I have it on my Excel chart to get to one day. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Right. Um, 
Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. Uh, I, I, I like a bird's eye, but I love the worm's eye too, man. That's fantastic. Um, do you, have you done any like digital backdrop, like, like live digital backdrops? Or you just prefer to do it in post a couple and I've got, and you can, you know, a couple. because um, you can <laughs> exactly that, you know, that's, that's where it started. Uh, also, I just don't have like a great mm -hmm. setup for a huge screen behind and yes. all of totally my shots yep. need so much depth that it's hard to, right. you know, yeah, uh, yeah. This would be a. Better an eight foot table here. If this was all practical stuff around the, you know what I mean? Exactly. <laughs> so, and this is yeah, like, uh, I, usually I would like to have those background rocks and stuff like that as practical. If I could, um, this yeah. case, it just didn't work, but, but, but the, the ship was practical, just composited in on a different layer. Right. Yeah. I don't see that. Like to me, like this is, this is toy photography, man. This is photography today. You know what I mean? Like the, it is, there's nothing different. I mean, th there's a different style to it, but uh, it's toy photography, man. Like you're, you're, you have to know how to shoot this figure uh, to match your background. You know how to, you have to know in post how to do all that work. It's not pressing a button. You know, this is what I try to tell a lot of people who think. You know, there was a point when I st when I started out. It was like 2015, 2016. Like there was a lot of like, well, you know, putting practical on your, you know all practical it was like a like a badge of honor and i'm like i don't get this because i that started out doing a lot of photoshop too <laughs> yeah <laughs> i started out doing a lot of photoshop and yeah. i'm like you know i don't i don't know what you're talking about because this isn't easy to do like it's 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 a challenge to put you know something into a digital background and look at like it's not in a digital background which is this is a perfect example of right here um yeah. as is uh, a lot of the work that you've done with uh that technique um, yeah, I like to mix it up. I mean, I got a lot of shots mm -hmm. that are fully practical, you know, especially ones that, you know, maybe are, are kind of looking down or don't need that kind of depth. Or maybe it's like, you know, city right. view and you've got, you know, the dio in the background blocking it. So you right. don't have to worry about extending the background with, you know, Photoshop. But, um, but yeah, I, I mean, I know it's cliche, but, you know, Photoshop is just a tool, honestly. Yep. You know, um, it is. It's, it serves the idea. It's just whatever the story dictates, that's what I do. And um, it's today's dark room. I mean, I started out in photography in, in school when, you know, just when digital cameras were coming on board and they were like, you know, not even a, you know, two megapixel cameras and they weren't very yeah. good. Um, so you still, still film was king. And uh, I hated the dark room. I hated, I hated the dark room, but it is, that's what it is. I mean, that's what you're doing. Yes, you can do a whole lot more in Photoshop than you can do. Uh, in a dark room, room, but that's what people did, or they'd airbrush on top of a photo or something. It's all the same. Uh, it's all techniques yeah. that have been in used for years and years and years, uh, that way back to you know the the early uh, 20th century. So, uh, is that now? This looks almost just except for this background. I mean, beautiful. Again, key to this: beautifully blending this and getting the light to hit the figures exactly where you've got the light in the background. But I'm assuming this is all post work back here, right? Yeah. For the most part. Yeah. Yep. yeah. You can, oh, you can you usually go. tell the seam, you know, if you look close enough, you know, um, but I try to try to merge it. And, and I don't know, man. As as possible. It's pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty damn good. So this is one shot. This is, I love the depth on this, man. What, what do you shoot? What, what, uh, what lens do you, what camera, what lens, what do you, what do you use? I mean, generally, yeah. I know you probably have a couple lenses, but. I have uh, upgraded recently to a Canon R5. So, uh, not you know, like for the last oh, like Canon. Well, it's been nice having you on, Chuck. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. It's a running you know, joke on Mazes. It's one channel. of those things where it's like Adobe products or Apple products. I know. You, know, you start with something and then you buy some lenses and it's like, absolutely. Yeah, um, yep, absolutely. I did not do deep research on Nikon to pick a Nikon, really. Right, just kind right. of picked yeah. it up. Exactly. And then, uh, lenses I, I switch it up I'll, I'll go from portrait like 50 millimeter to like a wide mm -hmm. angle a lot of my shots are wide mm -hmm. angle just because you, you you need it and then you know i've yep. got a macro and a zoom lens uh that i use mostly mm -hmm. um yep. it's like a 24 to 70 yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and those are so good now like you can i mean you got to drop a little money on it to get, but man, I've got one that uh, I invested in and it's a, it's a 24 70 and it's like as sharp. I mean, I watched a lot of videos on it. It's as sharp as like any prime lens uh, in the range that it has. It's, it's, an, it's insane. Yeah. It's really, really That's good. It's like probably the majority of the shots. Yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. 
uh, focus stacking at all on these or no? You do you do any of that? Or? Okay. Depending. Okay. Yeah. Depending on the shot. Yep. Yeah. I'll, yep. And got to do it. It's a pain. Do it. <laughs> it is a real pain. Yeah. Cause I, you know, I mean, again, like people think you can press a button, but Photoshop really doesn't do a great job of it uh, on its yeah. own. I mean, I know there are other programs that can probably handle that better. I've heard of a few. Um, I don't, I don't really use those. I just do it kind of manually and go around the objects that I want to uh, be a little yeah. sharper and stuff. But uh, Same. yeah, this is, I love this shot, man. This is fantastic. Thank you. Um, what What is your favorite? So two questions. Do you feel you have a style? And well, yeah, let's start with that. Anyway, yeah. Let's start with, you know that. what? I, I, I've always like, I, I think so. I think people would say I think so. you do. Yes. I, I kind of bucket a little bit some from time to time because I, you know, Same. I'm inspired, <laughs> inspired by others. And, um, mm -hmm. you know, that practical, you know, a hundred percent practical. I don't have many shots that are hundred percent practical. Very, very rarely. Um, right. actually probably none, but very minimal, <laughs> uh, effects I'd say is, is always like a different challenge, right. Or a different technique. Yes. Um, yep. I, I enjoy like challenging myself that way, like, you know, and then, um so like if you look that's at crazy. the one my recent yeah. shot that's obviously very heavily um the one with the han solo right there with the alien oh yeah 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 uh, yep you know, oh, yeah. i was trying to go for a real maybe it is a little stylized i don't know but i was trying to go as realistic moody horror look as possible yeah. from the movie you know alien yeah. um but yep. then obviously i have that's stylized right. you know hard highlights very you know distinct highlights yep. and um heavy effects so I mm -hmm. think most people, I have a style, I guess. Yeah. I think so. And I think so also in terms of like subject matter, which was my second part of that question, like you do, I mean, you've, you're, you are a little all over the place in that, but you do do a lot of humor work. Like, is that something you enjoy doing a lot or is, I mean, is that something you like, what, how does that come about? Is it just a, just an idea that, that turns into something funny or is it something funny that you try to then try to conceptualize into a, a, a cool looking shot because they're all very cool looking. You know, I know a lot of people who do like, con like kind of funny comic style right. photos that are pretty straightforward shots. You know, they're just trying to get the humor in there and not really trying to stylize the shot into a beautiful, right. but you kind of right. combine the two. So which like this, this right here, you know I mean? It's Han yeah. Solo and Chewbacca. I don't know if it's right. funny, <laughs> but it's, I mean, it's a fun it's crossover. Fun. Although my wife was like, it's dark, you're not going to post dark that, are you? My, my <laughs> wife literally said, you're not going to post that, right? <laughs> it's dark um, humor. It's dark. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, everything I try to do, um, from a composition or framing or you know even just style um i try to do something different like look at it something yeah. from a different perspective tell a diff tell a familiar story but something with a different twist or spin or a mashup for that right you know um or challenge myself with like that that one you were looking That's at great. it was a lot of characters it was a huge set with a lot of elements like mm -hmm. you know you when you start this it's kind of like this one here, the, the food, yep, the nine to five. Yeah, orders, like, yeah. Right. So now you've got to balance that little chip guy on the energy drink. You've got slime <laughs> on the ground, which causes this another guy. layer of, you know, a headache. Um, right. You've got tape there. That's giving you weird reflections. You, you've got all these yep. different light sources coming into play. So, um, you know, I've always looked at my photo. I, I don't know if you've, you've t watched uh, uh, any product photography, uh, like tutorials. Or oh yeah. Or oh yes how, yes sir yep they're trying to craft the perfect photo and that's kind of always been my yes. take you know i even mm -hmm. i can probably like set up a million lights and try to get it perfect in camera it, you do an awesome job at that and i've watched many of your youtube videos it would probably make my life a lot simpler actually if i tried to do that a little bit better but i i, I don't know I guess, <laughs> but I yeah options and posts you know as much as possible yes yes I ended up okay so all right that's photos. interesting and I'm compositing them together, get, getting that perfect light or that um, perfect reflection, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, things like that. Yep. Yeah, this very much uh, reminds me of uh, product photography in that, um, you know, I mean, I this 9 to 5 Warrior is great. Um, glad he's going forward with these. I, I wanted to do one of these. He asked me to do one, and I just, I had the time. But you you nailed it. I'm glad I didn't because this, this is perfect. Um, but, yeah, I mean, like, it's. You know, I mean, I do a lot of practical lighting, but there is a lot of post work 
Um, oh, yeah. I'd say a lot, but there is post work involved, um, with getting that look. Um, but yeah, I know you're talking about with the product photography, that stuff. Uh, but even, even now with that stuff, you see those guys are taken in, like, you know, I, I remember watching a lot of videos, like just, just doing a, like a wine bottle or something on a black background yes. with the backlit, with the light and, and just getting everything into the perfect position. So the lights reflecting off, I mean, they still do that, but there's a lot of post work on that stuff at this point so you know even the light you're seeing yeah. in there isn't necessarily something they captured in camera because they may change it later on so uh, yes agreed photoshop and, kids, and it's good. layers of light lighting layers on top of lighting layers. oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah several different shots on top of each other absolutely yeah wow that's amazing that that's all that's great great work awesome Good stuff, man. Uh, if you're not following Kill Cutter Photo, what happened to Kill Cutter? What happened to Kill Cutter? You just got cut off from Instagram? They're just one of those Instagram stupid things? Yeah, yeah. I got locked I out one day. I think they thought uh, I was hacked or something. I don't even know, man. I, uh, I tried so many times to get back in, and then I just gave up. Yeah, there was that was happening to people I know here and there. I actually just... Um, and I guess it's a, not a PSA, but like, I just, I just bought into the verified, which I, I, I hate. Um, but I feel it's necessary because they just the other day they had some glitch where I couldn't say thank you to people on the photo that, that you know, people were commenting really? on. I couldn't comment on another person's photo. It came up huh. and saying, you know, you're not allowed to do that right now. We protect our members. It's like, what's going on? No recourse. You know what I mean? But with the verified Yes, it costs money. I have to pay meta money, which hurts me. Um, but you can get a human to speak to you. That's how you have to do it. You have to pay them. I have <laughs> heard that. Insane. And I, that's very, very tempting. And I, I, I have a feeling I'll be following you soon with that. Because to, when it, to your point, having that safety net, I, I've been burned before for no reason, really. Um, yeah. You know, so. When, you, uh, to, you know, Sir Dork lost his home. account, I was, yeah. yeah. It's your business. It's your business and it's, and it means something. It's like, it's, mm -hmm. it's, you got, it's almost like insurance for your business to some degree. It's, it's kind of crazy that you have to do it, but uh, you have to do it. Agreed. Anyway. All right. Let's, uh, excellent stuff, man. Uh, great, great work. And kill at kill cutter photo is what you want to go to. Um, all right, let's move on. I got a little bit of business that I got to attend to here because Last month, uh, I neglected to, I don't know how this got lost in the shuffle. If you saw the tabs that I have up here, though, you'd probably understand. Uh, dull boy snaps. Um, Jonah got the shaft last month. <laughs> it was listed among the people who had gotten in and completely left off his picture, uh, which he told me in the comments, and I felt so bad. Uh, wow. So I spent a little time here on this. Uh, this is the one that was selected. I don't remember. I think, I think both myself and Jesse like this one. Um, but great, great storytelling here. Great shot. I love the inset comic book style, um, layering and both shots are, are gorgeous. Just really beautifully lit and, uh, set up, tells a story, uh, simple story too. I just love it. It's like stills from a movie. Yeah. It's, it's like the perfect, uh, like light fl light flare you know just perfect yeah That's yeah cool. the light is great i'm i'm really curious as to whether he uh is using a natural light source or if he's got just a, a super bright light there but uh it almost looks like it's i mean to, if he if it is a natural light source uh good timing on this because you you set up that dial in the right place at the right time man it's perfect totally. um but yeah dull boy he Another shot. This could have easily made it right here because this is amazing. We were looking at this on Mazes. This was from February. If I had seen this oh, yeah. one, I probably would have. Nuts! Uh, fantastic setup. And when you see, when you see the behind the scenes, it just makes it even better because this, this looks like a scene from from Alien or Aliens, mm -hmm. right? Well, Alien. Mm -hmm. um, look at this setup. All right. So this is a digital backdrop here, back here, which is. Great matching in the lighting. <laughs> look at the look at the ash. Is that, wait, is that oh, ash? No, my I know it's crazy he's, what he's, you have to do. He's literally splayed yeah. out, but like how great is that? Like to make it work with that little tray, the art box that he's got underneath there, using that to diffuse the light and look like a, a medical table that's lit up from below. Fantastic. 
just a great great setup and a great result really nice depth framing with all the little you know pieces of equipment and stuff around it just beautiful shot um i love i love just that how is creative you can get with those props and things just to get bring your vision to life that's just perfect. yeah and yeah i tell people that too like just enough to get like you know, you could set up a lot off screen here. You could do a whole elaborate thing and then you get in, try to try to frame it up or at least have kind of an idea in your mind as to how you want to frame it up while you're setting up. And you're going to save yourself a lot of time setting up a big elaborate set. And, and then not you're not tempted to shoot it all because that's the other thing that a lot of people do is like, I'm going to back up because I, I took the time to do this whole, but the story is up here. You know what I mean? It's it's in this tight little area like he's got here and it's uh, it's great. Oh so yeah, I, I, I'm definitely guilty of that. Time. Definitely guilty of that. Are you? Where you, you got too Are big you? of a set, and now you got like an hour cleanup after the after the shoot. Yep. Um. Yeah. So I thought. I guess I was following with toy photography, Bob. Now I got too many counts. Um. But uh, Jonah, excellent work. Go follow Jonah Dullboy dot snaps. Uh, and I'm really, again, very sorry about leaving you out last month, but uh, you're you're leading off the the pack here, so. All right, moving on to our next pick. Um, I believe this was yours, and this is this is funny because this is a, actually for, first of all, fantastic pick. And I was just on with Sully and Zach and Simon on uh, behind the plastic, which is a yeah. great show. Check it out. Uh, really, really fun toy photography uh, interview show, which you were also on. So tell us about yep. this. What made you pick this? I think this was literally today and i saw it i think he posted today or yesterday or something yeah yesterday probably and uh mm -hmm. i was like i gotta put this in the mix look at the uh look at the posing look at the composition you know uh yeah everything look at the the number of props put in the perfect place like a lot of yeah detail a lot of time went into the perfect placement of every object the angle is Pigeon super cool game. i mean the, yep. the 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 use of the you know the bandana blowing in the wind and all you you just get the energy you get the there's atmosphere in there i mean it's got it all really honestly yeah yeah it's it's great the lighting it's really nice i mean it just it just feels like an outdoor shot but but it's mm -hmm. still got that element of like comic or cartoon feel you know it's not hyper real it's not overlit like it's hot sunlight or even it's just got and uh, the atmosphere around them is really really nice i'm wondering if he I know that's all i'm assuming that's all practical but i'm wondering if you like stacked a little bit because that's what i do with fog you know fog never sits the way you want it to sit you gotta no. sort of stack it and and do a couple shots but uh just even framing it with the bodies of um of these guys down here and the cone falling over it all leading lines you know brings you the staff yeah. the nunchucks the the swords just all bring you into the the center here which is is really really nice really really nice and a nice yeah. dial and the dial here's the thing kids the dial shows through right without it being the star of the show again like we were just talking about no need to widen out this is a nice tight shot on the turtles right. and the rest and of it got, will like, come through and yeah, feel yeah yep. and he's definitely got like you know the perfect depth of field going on you can still see a lot of those details in the back but it, it lets the characters yep. pop with the atmosphere on there yep Yep, it's just a great. It's just great. Like just it just kind of ends here, uh, and you get a little bit of detail here, and then it starts to fall off. And the fog kind of fog does a great job of like even and popping them off the background as well because that without that's the great thing about fog. Um, you know that atmosphere that you can create some depth with and just kind of set things back. Um, it's, it's it's a great tool. Uh, highly recommend anybody pick up even just a cheap fog machine, thirty five dollar fog machine from Amazon. Uh, you can use it. It's great. Good yeah. stuff. Uh, I don't know what happened there. But um, so this is Sully, not a bird, not a plane photography. Uh, <laughs> great stuff. This is great. Yeah, he's got a lot of good photos. <laughs> Definitely good portfolio work. He's got some good humor it. stuff. I'm, I wonder if this is, uh, is this outside or is this a, uh, it looks, mean, like, it it's looks like an outside it. shot, right? But I I've mean, seen some people do some great work with the uh, inside to, to create. Yeah. This photo is what's great about toy photography. I mean, it's, it has no reason to be it's just merging these two universes together, but you can do yep. it, you know, yep. and uh, yep. what a great, fun little story, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I, uh, I, I, 
I, I used to work more or less and I would talk every once in a while and uh, uh, I saw this. He was, This was his background the other day when he was interviewing me. I was like, what the hell is that? That looks incredible. <laughs> That's great. Fantastic. Um, really, really good. But yeah, I mean, he, and he does a lot with, with humor, uh, fun stuff. I love this. Like mixing and crossovers and stuff is not does not come naturally to me. Uh, what I was saying is work more or less, and I used to talk about this, we're a little more in our, like in our creative director zone, I guess. And it's like, it's got to make sense to some degree, but, uh, I think, you know, these things can totally make sense. Um, you know, just with a little creativity and really, really good stuff. That's a beautiful shot too. I love that. I love that one. Yeah. Oh, good, good, good stuff. I haven't seen that one. Look at the mezzets. The mezzets are excellent. Holy cow. Yeah. Good stuff, man. Did you pick up those turtles? Are you a turtle guy or no? I have the uh, 1990 NECA ones, the movie ones. I, oh, that's right. You've taken pictures of those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those good pictures. Too, these yeah. are so cool. I, I got to I know. I gotta do something here. I'm getting jealous. I'm not a turtle guy, but I, yeah, I know. And I, I pass these up and I'm like, you know what? I've got the, uh, the 5K, you know, sort of not turtles coming and i really like the look of those uh but man these look good so i may have to just bite the bullet and yeah great i mean just crossover stuff all over the place man just having fun with it he, he knows how to have fun with stuff that's for sure yeah yeah great uh great account uh not a bird not a plane photography uh sully go check him out all right uh well, my pick first pick from me Figure four photos, uh, new person uh, on the uh, show. First time, Dylan Zelmer. I believe figure four photos is his first time. Dylan, I don't know. I know Dylan, but like, I don't know if he's, I don't think he's been on here before, but um, I just love this, man. This is action. I mean, first of all, it's Conan. I love, you know, sword and sandals, fantasy stuff. I love skeletons. Um, not biased at all, but um you know, it's very Frazetta colors. It's it's just it, it feeds into my my genre and my milieu, and I, I just love it. I love the kick that he's given the skeleton. I love the motion on that skeleton. And it's great. Like that is studying motion and knowing what's going to happen when something gets you know of a certain weight or whatever gets kicked by something else or hit by something else of another certain weight. Um, and beautiful lighting, great great setup. Love it. It's great. Love the depth of field. Yeah. Love the, you know, even the skeleton yeah. in the back, the way he's posed with the, you know, coming at him yeah. with the knife. Just really nice little detail there that most people wouldn't have, you know, thought of. Um, yep. I, I've got, you know, it does remind me, and I got the Dark Wolf figure on on its way, and I can't wait. Oh, to you do? Shoot okay, cool. That. This is like, I saw this when it when it first got posted, and um, I, I, I like the shot a lot, too. Excellent, yeah. you know, all around. Yeah, and you're right. Like just little detail. Like a lot of people would, you know, hey, I got a skeleton here, I got a skeleton there. It's just the bones on the ground here and the mm -hmm. skull back there. And yeah, like you said, like a good pose on this guy, not just that he was just kind of standing there. Because I I sometimes see some shots where there's, you know, they get the gist across with the main figures and then the rest of the figures are kind of just, you know, standing back as if they're watching what's going on. But this guy looks like he's gonna get involved. Yep. Uh, as as is this guy up here. So um yeah beautiful shot i i, I wonder um, how he got that skeleton to, to hang there i wonder if that was a wire or um, i'm wondering that myself yeah yeah those are tricky mm -hmm. yeah um yeah i mean you could have an aperture you could have something off camera and these these figures luckily are very light um so you probably could just get away with a wire through one of the ribs obviously there's lots of holes in them so that you could you could mm -hmm. find a way but uh i would be curious um so Dylan, uh, let us know uh, if you uh, watch this, what you did. But uh, Dylan's got you know beautiful shots as well, uh, all over the place. Um, and he does he does a lot of mezco, um, a lot of mezco. This wow, that's insane. Look at that, incredible. Yes, yes, I saw this. That's great. Damn, it's a lot of posing, a lot of a lot of falling over figures. Yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly yeah no kidding you're not kidding there um love this this is great just sometimes some simple like yeah i'm not i'm not big on like necessarily hero poses but this is i mean this is you know justice league of america man there it is right there classic incredible yep 
Um, yeah, beautiful lighting, beautiful setups. God lighting coming down here. Really, really nice. Yeah. Good, good that. stuff. I love that dio. Oh, I don't even, ooh, I wonder if those are all individual TVs or what. I think this is a set that came with somebody told me this. We saw this somewhere. It came with a Joker, and I think it was either a McFarlane or a No, Diamond Select Joker okay. figure. Somebody in the chat will help me out with this. And hi chat, by the way. Uh didn't say hi to everybody in the chat. Controversial choice. Wholesome Warlock, Pablo's here, Greg Shaw's here, Just Jeff, Dub Dub, Jacob Forna, Mark R, Santos Rivera, literally Action Figs, Dull Boy, Kent Pool Collects, what's up, Kent, Vonnie Rotten, what's up, man, uh, nice. Brian Brink, Nate Strong, my boy's here, uh, Dave Bennett, Emerald Knight Photos, Commander Gree, what's going on, Joe Gonsalves, uh, Collecting Brothers are here, Agent Butterman, what's going on, man, Nomad Figures, uh, Alberto Morales and Brian Brink. Did I say Brian Brink? I think I did. Go Figure Go is here. Just Jeff. Um, sorry, man. I couldn't get that video done today. I'm sorry. Go Figure Go. I'm, I, I tried, but I, it's too much going on. Uh, Crimson Viper is here. I wonder why. Uh, League of Extraordinary Sixers. What's going on? Steve Morrow is here. Ray Brewer is here. Uh, so, yeah. Thanks, everybody, for coming on. Hit that like button. If you don't mind, somebody will definitely help me out. Uh, from the Batman video game. Oh, there you go. Pablo knows. It was a collector's edition. Oh, that's right. That's right. We talked about that on the show. That's right. Thank you very much. Cool. Um, yeah, uh, excellent work. Uh, so that's, man, that's yeah. beautiful. Love that's that. epic. That's great. Yep, totally epic. Dylan Zomer, figure four photos with an F. Uh, go check them out. Wow, that's great. Great posing, really, really good poser for sure. Mm -hmm. Dude, look at that. There's another. There's another fall over. You know that. You know something yeah. fell over there at least once. Drove him. Yeah. Down. Great, <laughs> great stuff. Great stuff. All right. Uh, moving on to your second pick here, uh, and this is a two second timer on the show. Uh, Cyril Malay photography, and that is Cyril Malay. Um, tell us about it. I just love yeah look at this this is just great perspective right um yeah yeah just right through the i, I don't even know what car this is I, I i really i is this the delorean what model is this or what what you know line this is but it's, i don't know it's, it almost looks like it's like like a dio or i'm not like sure Hendo, I what, maybe? yeah i thought the it might same be thing. i don't know yeah. but uh but it you know it does the job and the and the scale yep. feels right you know um yep yep just love that perspective of him look, you know, talk, looking at his watch and got the whole goggles on and just yep. that perfect, uh, you know, that familiar, but still unique, you know? Yeah. I think it, this is a, I know, I know, um, Sergeant Banana Johnny did, has been doing some stuff with that, um, long, um, pro, oh. I'm, the pro lens. And, um, yeah. and it reminds me of this, but I don't think this is probably didn't buy a, probe lens maybe did for this it doesn't have quite the same um look of that so it's probably just a standard lens but uh very cool perspective man through uh through the door uh to dock i love it beautifully lit um great beautiful shot fabulous uh and like i said this is cyril's second time on. i'm trying to think of what the other shot that he had with us That's got so many shot. good ones it's really cool yeah 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 where is that where is that here on the upper right top right up 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 top right oh 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 yeah 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 oh yeah i mean yeah, that's just that's so fantastic cool. i remember that shot yeah this is a great dial really nice dial that's mm -hmm. great wow it's just the uh the uh, transition from you know old school popeye to this like ultra futuristic city back here is great yeah cool idea uh great great just great ideas man look at that yeah, <laughs> that's, that's fantastic so great that's awesome what fun way heck? to incorporate yourself into your photography there you go what the heck was cereal on for wow that's beautiful that's great that reminds me of avanaut stuff right you know avanaut mm. who uh, yeah yeah does a lot of the star wars uh uh ships and stuff within a like a real uh, shot of a of a forest or something that is taken. 
Yep. Fantastic. Well, was it this shot? It wasn't this shot, but this is great. I remember looking at this on Moz's show, I think. That's incredible. Uh, Steril, I cannot remember the shot. Oh, it was was it this one? This this is genius. Okay. Mm -hmm. Have you seen this? No, but it's amazing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Wait do you see the behind the scenes. Are you ready for this? Yeah. <laughs> it's it's wow. a detergent bottle. How great is that? Yeah. See, right? that's, that's awesome. I love the creativity there. Yeah. Yes, you don't need an elaborate absolutely. dio. You can nope. literally use b bottles and cans around the house. Freaking looks exactly like a damn plain window, man. Amazing. And I just a little bit of light, so you don't know it's you know can't tell it's Marty. It's just somebody looking at exactly. it. It's Superman, man. Fantastic exactly. stuff. Really, really good stuff. That is uh, Cyril Malay. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I believe I am. Uh, photography. Um, go check them out. Good stuff. All right. Next up, uh, here's an up and comer. <laughs> uh, this is my friend TJ, my my co-host on the One Six Pack, and uh, he is always doing great work. But this just this just hit me in the face, man. I I want this. I have had this figure coming, but it's not here yet, and it's killing me because everybody's doing the great shots of it, and I'm just it's just going to go on the shelf and and just collect dust. Um, but yeah, he he nailed this, man. This is this is beautiful. Um, just the I you know there's there's been a couple shots like this. I had a BG toy art uh, last month that was also like a product shot basically for. Um, hot toys but it was a little differently lit and i just like the red here man i think it's just really nicely done um you know red can be can be tricky to do but i just love the shadows that he's got and stuff on here really beautiful shot yeah, you, is this a hot toy it is a hot toy yep yeah yeah uh, you can't you can't <laughs> get this detail with uh black series <laughs> no but i do like when people try to get that with black series you know i do like I when do. people try yeah. to do a close-up type portrait with a good black series and uh, it's not going to come off the same way but um i do like when people attempt that i've, I've done that a couple times and it's, it's with you know varying same. effects you got to um, get even more yeah. dramatic light going than, than normal maybe to make it look a little more yeah dramatic. and you got to hit those faces in the right place to kind of hide some of those eyes and things like that but uh right, right. um yeah tj's tj's an insane photographer man he's he's great 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 at, at hot toys portraits i'm trying to get him into some 112 stuff i'm trying to bring him into the into the uh the mythic legions world or he does have a couple 112 things but uh he, he yeah. loves his one six and you can see why he's great at it yeah, um look at that Gorgeous. i mean even just going back to your vader shot the color the color tones in that shot are just spot on it's like yeah just yeah. perfect Drawing yeah and he also eye. does um digital backdrops i believe most or uh, um i don't know if sometimes he shoots in front of a digital screen but i think a lot of the times he's he does um composites oh, okay uh, and i just love the mistiness of the the background the, the background also just well chosen to go mm. to contrast with the with the red colors just really really nice uh yeah he's he's crazy good boy's good and a good yeah. dude too um yeah look at that. that's great love it yeah love it, love it love it love it want to see him do more multi okay he does he, he actually does do a lot of these every once in a while but uh he does he does great stuff on that too but his portraits are excellent that's a great shot yeah they're they're top notch yeah beautiful stuff that's capes dot and dot rifles um go check them out give him a follow um all right next up uh another i think i think a mutual friend of ours probably he's everybody's friend he's a good guy um another uh another repeat uh winner as well uh well there's no winners they're just like a repeat uh featured photographer let's let's put it that way uh sean visual underscore approach photo and this was one of your picks um yeah so tell him this this is nuts man this dio he uh, he pisses me off <laughs> he makes you realize i'm not creating enough in sets myself um i've been wanting yeah. to do like a lava field or something with like lights from the lava 
and forever and I just have not gotten around to it. And every single time I see one of his, and he's even built like a new, I think this might be the newer version of the, of the lava dial he has, but uh, it just makes me so jealous. And then, and then the creativity of him building that moon. Um, and the, if you scroll, you can yeah. see the behind the scenes is just unreal. I mean, so it's yeah, so this creative. is not Photoshop. This is not digital backdrop. He made this planet. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> this kills yeah. me. He made this. I don't know what he's got kids too. He kills me. I, I just he, uh, makes me sick. <laughs> he's so good at the dials. I mean, I've told him I know I want him to make me a mountain, but I don't know if he's going to. But look at that. That's crazy. Made Unreal. the planet. Made the mountain. He's used this mountain for a bunch of things, but man, you never like. Aside from the lava, I never know it's the same thing twice. So it's Definitely it's a great not. great dial, yeah. and he shoots it from a different angle every time. Um, so he composited this one. Uh, the ship and everything, but you know, obviously lit it to match the uh, the uh, terrain uh, in the perfect spot too, because even back here it's a little darker and there's no lava there. Mm -hmm. It's being hit from here. It's being hit from here. It's being hit under the wing here. But so perfectly planned from the sun up in the upper left corner. You know. Yep. Yeah. A space light. A space light. Yeah. <laughs> Space light, kids. It's one big bright light if you're in space, basically. I mean, this is on a planet surface with, with the space background, but if you're in space, it's just that one big, apparently, yeah. star somewhere or planet being reflected by a, you know, a star being reflected off of it. But, uh, yeah, I mean, all the detail and the depth on this thing, there's the crispiness um, of everything in here, I really love. It's like an HDR photo, but it's not HDR and all, you know, stupid weird like that it just works it just looks so good that's fantastic it's, it's shots like these on instagram the landscape you know the panner pan almost pano almost it, you just don't get the yeah. full you know feeling of it you gotta zoom in and look at all the details because there's just so much. oh there. yeah i want to turn my camera on its side and hope it expands but i know instagram doesn't do that Oh, man. Uh, that is the one problem with Instagram. Well, <laughs> I say one problem. <laughs> I just talked about three other problems. But uh, it is another problem with Instagram that I wish you could like hit that, enlarge it, and be able to turn the the, fo the phone sideways to see the full photo. Uh, no matter what the orientation, even if it's portrait, have it fill the the uh, the phone yeah. up, man. I, I want to be able to zoom in without having to pinch and repinch and repinch. But well, um, I didn't realize. Until just now, actually, that this was the Haslab, the Haslab Razor Crest. So yeah. that's the big boy. That's not even one of that's the little. Probably why you have to composite it because. Oh yeah! Huge. Hell yeah! yeah. <laughs> but I also think it gives you that detail that like some of those little models and stuff don't have, and the just the reflections oh, yeah. and the you know look inside the cabin and stuff like that. So it's got it's a great Fun. it's a great vehicle. It's a great great thing. Um, yeah, I mean, listen. We know Sean's work on the show. Sean's been on the show as a guest. Um, we've seen his work once, bef you know, once before on the show. Uh, featured, it's crazy. He again, another thing he built. This whole hangar thing kills me. This is amazing. This is multi-scale uh, figures here, three and three-quarter figures back here. Black series in front, and this is the uh, the big. Uh, what do they call those? The real? What do they call those things? The Hasbro ones, they didn't go very uh, far, but it's a great looking figure. It looks really good, but insane. Like that, that's the scale there is just nuts. Look at that. I mean, it all works. It, it's great. Thing of beauty. Yep. He's amazing. Um, and that is Sean Canary visual underscore approach underscore photo. If you're not following already, go give him a follow. Good dude. All right. Another, I believe first timer on the show. Um, Odol Studio, Odol, Odol underscore studio. Now, if you know me, you know, I love a bird's eye shot. <laughs> I love a top down shot. Um, it's gotta be a good shot, but I love it. Um, and you're going to hook me in right off the bat if you've got that going on. And then, uh, on top of it, don't, don't, don't do it just for that reason, but you know, have a reason for it. And this is a great reason. This tells a great story. I love this from the angle it's at. There's a lot going on here and, uh it's great the light the atmosphere the fact that even that he's got and this is the kind of thing like if you're an acba they're going to call you on this if there's no footprints 
behind this guy. How did he get here? <laughs> He's in sand. How did he get here? He walked. He moved around. He was obviously shifting over in this area, then moved over here. Same thing with Cop Vanth. He's got some footprints behind him. Um, you know, great. I love the story with this robot. I remember the scene from the, the show. I don't exactly remember what was going on. I think this is kind of a take on that, not an exact replication. Um, but, man, I love it. You don't need to see the front of your quote unquote protagonist. Um, it's really just the story. It looks like there's a conversation going on between these two. Uh, the movement of the arm and the, and the hand just kind of tilting down. Love it. Great. As really, you can really see, I, I loved it too. I had my, my comments right there. <laughs> well, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. The details, the angle. Just that extra touch of, of the rope holding the junk on the front of the speeder, the, yeah, fog yeah, just wrapping area. around it. Yeah, just letting yep. letting that fog, let that uh, what is he a pike uh, pop off that yep. background, but yeah, still got everything in shot. Just awesome. Yep. He's Another argument his... for fog. Yep, doing the same thing. Yep. Yep. Just great story. Yeah, holding the helmet like you were gonna say. Yeah, holding the helmet like that, and uh, yeah, just uh, simple posing. But there's a mm -hmm. there's you could easily make this look you know, not as good, uh, by mm -hmm. just like stiffly posing these guys or just having that guy stand there without, uh, you know, that movement of his arm. Um, and it's not a fight. It's not a action scene necessarily. It's kind of like what I was talking about in my post the other day that it's just like, it's, it's pre-action. You know what I mean? There's something happening. There's a story here and I get to look around and kind of figure out what's going on. Uh, and yet I have an idea of what's happening here. This is, there's tension here between these two characters. So really, really nice. Uh, great shot. And there's a setup with the uh, land speeder. Oh, uh, you know what's so funny? What is what's I didn't that? even realize that, but that's one of those droids just um tied down. Yeah, the dark of, yeah, yeah, the dark the, dark, the uh yeah. dark troopers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that's hilarious. Uh, but it's 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 pretty uh, you know, it's pretty in nondescript here with all the fog and right. stuff around it. So it's right even, even if it is. Really, really good. Um, and yeah, just some beautiful, beautiful stuff here, man. Um, really good. That's a gorgeous shot too. I, th I swear was, was, I swear we featured him, but oh, another top down shot. Great. Look at that. Oh yeah. Really great. great, great angles and really, really good storytelling. Um, mm -hmm. just the depth here is great. Um, the sets are great. And yeah, I love the, the framing. Very, very good stuff. Love it. I love the atmosphere on this too. Look at that. Wow. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. That looks so, I mean, what I like is when people do that, you're not reproducing a shot. Um, first of all, those trees look really good. I want to know where he's got those trees. They do. Going. They might just be branches, but they actually have like a small texture to them that really look yeah. real. Yeah. really good um but this i mean the atmosphere and the lighting here looks like you took it from a you know behind the scenes shot from uh from uh, return of the jedi just really really good stuff yeah telling a familiar story and flipping it around yep love yep. that yeah yeah a little more from the uh you know the soldier's perspective uh mm -hmm. love it really really nice good good stuff uh Odol, O D O L underscore studio, uh, Odol Studio. Uh, go follow them from Poland. Uh, excellent work, Matt. Wow, that's beautiful too. Really good, great setups, man. I mean, he's really like he's nailing the look of the movies that he's that he's re not replicating, but like taking inspiration from. Like really, yeah. really good stuff. Yeah. Love it. Excellent stuff. Uh, or they are. I'm sorry, don't mean to presume, Odol. <laughs> All right, uh, I think this is also mine. I don't know what happened here, but uh, that's all right. Uh, another new name, uh, Cal Han. Uh, and I just thought, like, it's a very, I would say, shot. There's a lot of setup here. There's a lot of little details. Um, but it's one figure. I just, I just love the way it's lit. It just really made me feel like I was in this scene. Like I'm in... A mummy's tomb, and I, and I suspect that this background isn't as 
is incredibly detailed, but there's enough there to sell the fact that it looks like it's coming from a tomb. The lighting he's got on here really works. You know, the bright light over here to give the fog some atmosphere. And and I just like the fact that he's didn't go nuts. This is something I fight myself over all the time, like really brightening up parts of the figure. There's lots of detail here. You can see enough. You know what I mean? I, yeah. I, I love it. Here's the point of contrast. Like, you know, it, you could you could say it's it's might be around here someplace, but I don't know. I I go right to the face. It's just a very um, compelling shot of this figure. I think this figure looks great too. I mean, that doesn't that doesn't hurt either. But no, it's and that in the sarcophagus from the uh, NECA. I think I think that came from NECA. I think it is. Right? Yeah, I think it is. Mm -hmm. uh, I love the light wrap, you know, and then and then you can see the, the wrinkles in the mouth just enough to give it just like you were saying, you know, you could you don't need to and I'm guilty of that. I, I, I always push I want I want to see the you know see more, see more, but sometimes less is more. And uh, this is a good example. I think that. that's a creative director thing, man. I think that is a definite I have a and and you're doing product photography now too, which we didn't really talk about. We can go back and talk about it a little bit, but you've been doing some product photography for a couple of lines. Um, and it is something that you have to keep in mind when you're doing that. Like you can, you know, as long as you got a couple of shots, you can do one that's kind of like sexy and, you know, very contrasty and right. dark. But for the most part, you're trying to show the details of the product. So like something like right. this, yeah. I think is a great product shot for NECA, but NECA would probably be like, we need to brighten up that face and show a little more detail on the eyes and yada, yada, yada. So, um, it is it is hard to fight yourself sometimes to not do that um, um yeah yeah but i i i just composition wise i think it's great um I don't, there's no rules here necessarily i'm seeing a little bit of a triangular setup um like the golden triangle type of thing but whatever just love the skulls love the little rats all over the place and the sarcophagus and it's just it tells a story really really nice yeah good good, good stuff. stuff um yeah some great terminator stuff here another one with a great just enough to tell the story here um i gotta get this fit i think i have this figure ordered this is, is this so the cool, uh right? which one is this, this is the mafex it's mafex, the mafex. Okay. i swear i ordered it but i don't know why i don't have it everybody else seems to have it and i think i got it from ami ami but i could be wrong it looks great it looks really really cool yeah um yeah, that's another that's a great shot. I've seen a couple of people yeah. do the Deadpool alien thing, but that's 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 cool. That's a good very, one. Very cool. Um yeah, just even just simple stuff like this. I really this is a nice use of, you know, the Deutsch angle, German tilt, whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. Um because I mean this is a walking pose. This just gives it a little bit of drama, you know, a little bit of motion. Um, that's a good use of it, you know, not too much overuse of that. Somebody standing there doesn't really work, uh, but he's in motion. He's walking. That's good walking pose too. Yeah. Um, yeah. You can yeah, really, really good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, beautiful lighting. Oh, this is one we looked at on Maz's show too. This is incredible. The setup on that is oh, yeah. just nuts. I haven't really seen this nicely one. done. That's awesome. Yeah, I just all the little details of this guy crawling in the background, this guy crawling around the edge. This looks like the same set he was using for the uh, mm -hmm. the Ninja Turtle one, and uh, you know, just having these head float. I don't know if he had like a BTS. I know he's got a couple extra shots in here. That's a beautiful shot too. Yeah. So Callahan Nicholas, excellent stuff. Um, yeah. Beautiful. Go follow him, Cal. K A L H A triple A, -A N. Uh, good stuff. Good stuff. All right. Now, I don't know if you've ever heard of this guy before, anybody in the audience, um, but it's a, it's a little little account called Blixers. I'm not really sure what Blixers means, but no, it's Black Series. <laughs> it's Zay, my buddy Zay. Uh, been at it forever with his, uh, you know, the. The, uh, they used to call them the uh, the three PO. What, oh, what the hell was their group called? The three PO brothers. Shit, this is a long time ago. Oh, oh it wasn't that long? Ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah, it was work more or less, and and um, plastic action, and um, sweat picks, and all those guys. So, um, so tell us about this. This is, I mean, it's incredible. It's awesome. I mean, you know, his Star Wars stuff is so good, and you know, yeah. it's bringing those 
one twelfth gig figures to realistic life and in creative ways. The you know the the atmosphere in this shot, um, yeah, pose is just simple but very very cool, very natural feeling. Uh, yep. The framing and how he, I, I you know I've done this myself using. If you look at the behind the scenes, you'll see that he's using crumpled up paper for the cave. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. I was gonna say that's it's. A great way to do uh, like a cave or a cavern is just take craft paper like this, wrinkle it all up. Look at that. I mean, right instantly you've got like a, a cavern, man. Uh, yeah. I didn't realize he spray painted it, but that's like, it's cool too. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Give it, it gives it a little depth tone in there. I think he weathers. He loves to do this. <laughs> yeah. He loves to yeah. do this. Yeah. He loves to weather his figures. Yep. Oh, is this his flashlight? Oh, very nice. Oh, he actually lit the flashlight. I didn't watch this. Yeah. Okay. So that that's nice. That's next level. Ah, I like that. I like that. I always like, you know, I, I use torches like that a lot, and it does really make a difference then. You know, you can fake that lighting a little bit. You can pinpoint it with a laser or something like that, but it just never looks the same as when you've got a light in that. You're, you're right there. Yeah. For sure. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, so he was just outside wrinkling it up, but then he took it into his living room. <laughs> mm. <laughs> He's usually outside doing stuff. Incredible setup, man. And I, yeah. I'm always jealous of his BTSs because he does. He takes a lot of time to uh, film those things. Um, yeah. Sucker for Godlight. Anytime you do Godlight, I just love it. It's it's usually if it's done well done, it's really great. I just like the little glints of dust and stuff in there too but yeah um i love the fact that that's that's lit up because i really thought that that was post work and uh yeah. that's great super cool really cool love it love it love it love it yeah and like you said just simple and framed beautifully and you know he put a lot of work into even the uh, the depths back here of this thing mm -hmm. and he just let it you know he let it go with the atmosphere with the with the 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 or the uh you know the depth that he chose for this and just like yeah you know you don't need to see that <laughs> it's not the subject the cave is not the subject you get enough of that impression here it's good enough good to go so that's that's knowing how to let things go sometimes uh, to make a better picture um zay say takahashi uh blixers it's black series um so he started out on uh if you don't know you know if you that we oh, this is a great shot love that fantastic uh if you're not following him at this point i don't know what's going on uh but just uh, i mean you know i could pick any of these it's incredible look this i think is another crumpled paper yeah uh, setup yeah. here i'm sure right yeah another crumpled paper uh amazing i wonder if that's the same roll that he bought it for this that <laughs> looks a lot of it <laughs> Um, but yeah, I mean, Zay's all over the place doing stuff for, uh, you know, uh, sports things, uh, uh, stadiums and stuff that he's, he's selling prints at and things like that. And yeah. he just, his work is just phenomenal. That's um, awesome. yeah, he does a lot of star Wars. I, I would say like, this is 80% star Wars, but he, you know, he gets into other things too, including dogs. Fantastic. Look at that. Look at that setup. This is these are the little miniature ones. These are the little uh micro. I love this shot. The love jazz this wares. Shot. Jazz wares, yeah. Yeah, the jazz wares ones, yep. Yeah. Fantastic. Good stuff. Um B L K S R S. It stands for Black Series, but it's pronounced Luxers. Um go follow. Go follow Isaiah for sure. Uh you will learn a lot. All right. Uh next up is one of mine, and this is a this is another repeat. Um I had forgotten that he was repeat, but that's okay because it's great. His first one was great, and this one is awesome too. Uh, Alan Rappa, um, just I, I'm a sucker for uh, you know framing with the with the foreground figure, especially like at the back, and you can still you still know everything about the story without seeing the face on the character. Um, whether you know this character is Link or not, it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? Like it's just mm -hmm. it's a you know he's got a sword. A medieval character he's got a shield he's hunched over he's ready to fight and you got this giant guy who you know you can you know one of the uh ogre scale um mythic legions figures and you know you can make everything out that you need to make out on him and he doesn't interfere with what's going on in the foreground so great depth 
great setup, beautiful lighting. You know, I mean, again, like motivated lighting. Where's that coming from? A torch, a fire someplace. Maybe you're sitting by the mm -hmm. fire when you decided to attack. I don't know. Whatever. Yeah. I just, I just love it. I love the angle on it. It's fantastic. Uh, he tried a couple different colorways. Kind of glad he went with the first one, but uh, I don't know what he did here. What did he do? Oh, he's, he's got water on there? I think it's water, yeah. I wonder why he water treated it. I don't know. He had something else in mind. I'll have to ask him. That about might that. be, is that is that also like crumpled up paper in the background there, maybe? Something I like believe that? it is. Yeah, I believe yeah. it's it's something like that. Yep. Uh, yeah, card. Well, we got a couple of things on here that are very creative. And again, this is kind of stuff you can do. You don't need a, an elaborate set, and you, you can mm -hmm. you can crumple up paper. You can use styrofoam pieces that come with your new TV. You can use, uh, you know, egg cartons, <laughs> all sorts of stuff. Uh, keep it out of focus. Keep it in the background. You know, think about its shape and the way it's used. We got another shot coming up that I'll, I think uh, kind of dabbles into that. I'm not I'm not 100 percent positive, but I think so. But yeah, uh, great shot. Love this shot. Um, and Ellen's got fun stuff, man. Great. I love this. Just the two skeletons yeah. just sitting there playing <laughs> chess, stalemate, um, you know, things like that with that cancel self-destruct yeah, out of order. Great. Lots of great humor stuff. Um, mm -hmm. Really, really good humor stuff. Uh, and he's doing pops and he's doing Black Series and he's doing Groot and everything else, man. It's He's all over the place, too. Look at that. That's a great shot. That's awesome. Cool. That's great. Great perspective too. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think of what his other shot was. He he's been in here before. There's so many good ones. I don't even know which one it was. I'm not even sure. But he did have another one on the show. Might have been back last year. Might have been a while back. Uh, he's, mm -hmm. he's prolific too. He's he's always putting stuff out. Uh, yeah, which is awesome. Uh, <laughs> A lot of fun storytelling <laughs> very fun yeah he's a very creative he's a creative person and he's a funny person too so uh he definitely uses those two as an advantage on uh on his shots wow that's great love that i don't even know what that is what is that i don't know disney like durables a... i've never even heard of that that's incredible mm. <laughs> i love it fantastic huh. um alan rappa one word alan r-a-p-p-a -P -P -A, alan rappa uh good dude Great photographer. Give him a follow. All right. Oh, I love this shot. I love this shot. This is your shot. Go for it. Oh, man. I think this might be my favorite of the month, to be honest with you. And it's it's just it's great. stand out. And, and it, oh, yeah, it's all practical. I, I think he's got a different behind the scenes video of this. And it's just oh, unreal does he? Okay. how he we'll put it together. Over. But just everything about it, the storytelling, the props the detail it's but it's a very simple background and it, so it just draws your eye right to the you know uh, yeah you know, jerry you know yeah and leading just, lines pulling you in yep. 100%. yep it's telling a you know it, the look on his it's it's the perfect like story for that the character's yes. look you know what i mean yes and yep. uh I, I, what more can you say? I mean, the detail it's, of the wood being cut out like a mouse would into the side of a house, you know, the wall, it's just great. It's so Jerry, like, you know, and yeah. like, it's just the perfect, like, yeah, you're not getting me with that. And it's, it's really, really good. Just the props, man, alone are fantastic. That trap, the yeah. cheese. And, and did he, I'll go take a look at the BTS, but did he, is this like a, a prop wall that he made to for this specific yeah. thing or did he actually okay i was hoping he didn't cut a hole in his into a wall of his house for a shop no, though i, I would have really... respected that quite frankly <laughs> the things you'll do for a shot exactly exactly <laughs> um let's go see if we can find that bts because i would like to see that has he got a reel of it you think it's right next to it if you if yeah oh is it down. okay hang on i think it was oh the yeah next there we one. go there we go there we go Wow. Oh, okay. Look at him. Mm -hmm. I see you. I see you got the probe lens too. Yeah. I'm going to get a probe lens. I'm going to have to get a probe lens. I, I, I had it in my, my cart last week. Really? And I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to have a chance to use this. <laughs> I'm like, you know what? I'm going to buy it anyway. It just gives oh, the shot. Is... Such a cool look. Um, they're not cheap, yeah. but 
they are cool. No, they are not. They are not. Yeah, yeah. There's just a there's just a level of distortion. Yeah, but yeah. but not crazy distortion that you can't get with, you know, even like a macro up close. You know what I mean? It's just it's got a really cool look to it. It's almost like mm -hmm. a like a retro type of look to it. Um, man, what a setup! Like, good for yeah. you, man. This is awesome. Good work. Really love it. Yeah, Vani's awesome. Look at this. That's great. Great. Yeah. Like bold, bold crop. I love this. I love this. You know what I mean? Like it just, yeah. it feels like a, ah, really nice, man. That's nice. You, you Again, know, I'm going reaction, through here and I'm liking, go ahead. Sorry. Yep. Your natural reaction would be to like keep the whole horse in frame, you know? Yeah. 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 But it works. It, like I don't need yeah, the horse. The horse is out of focus. Totally. You know, you don't need it. It's it's good. I mean, normally you say, "Oh, don't cut, don't cut that the face in half." Right. But I don't. It's it's fine. But it works. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Really, just beautifully detailed. That's fantastic, man. I gotta tell you, like I go through these sometimes, and I'm like, "How am I not seeing these?" Because like, yeah, I mean, look at the. I mean, the hay. Yeah, oh, that's so good. That's a great. Where's that set. pig from? That pig I have no idea. That's funny. That's perfect. Like that's like a great wow. mashup of two, even two, not even not only it's you know it's tied to the old the story, but the character, the style of the characters are so different, but it's so funny yeah. and great that because of that, you know. Yeah. And the lighting, I, I I happen to like is like, I mean sometimes, yeah, you know, I think about this more than other people do, but like, just the choice of the sky and everything, and it just looks like a kind of a crappy stormy day and it just it just i don't mm -hmm. know i like it <laughs> instead of like a sunny bright blue day um yeah fantastic stuff this is great putting up the lights just simple stuff man but like fun like great props yeah great posing wow that's great look at that wow yeah. damn bonnie yeah mitch is mitch is a good guy um u.s navy veteran uh, great, great stuff. Vani underscore rotten. If you like just good picks, but you can see how much fun these are too. Like there's always something fun about them. You know, uh, <laughs> that's fantastic. <laughs> Incredible. A lot of creativity too. Like a lot of creative, uh, you know, work involved in, in making these things and stuff too. A lot of, a lot of craft. Really, really nice. Yeah. Oof, beautiful. Fabulous. Is that me getting Sorry, pinged or are you getting pinged? Oh, you're getting pinged. Oh, you're getting pinged. Getting, okay. Someone, That's all right. I'm getting a bunch of texts. Sorry about that. That's all right. Uh, and he, yeah, he enjoys making dials and scenery. Um, so a lot of the stuff that you see in here is stuff that he's made or created. So that T Rex really, one, really, show really that great stuff. Real quick, Trevor. Yeah. Oh, it's, yeah. 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 This I mean, one, that dial yeah, this is, is nuts. so fun. Yeah, I know. But I mean, yeah. this alone would be a cool shot, but then you right. got vapor in this car. <laughs> has to go to yeah. like some kid like i like dinos you know <laughs> just great yeah yep. so, so good yeah so good. and he made all of this this whole setup with the car the museum set amazing wait all yeah. this incredible that's that's the bts right here too right yeah look at that that's all practical it's got lights mm -hmm. up there insane he built a museum good stuff oh i like that i like that angle actually is that the probe lens he's got no, I'm just not using it there. Okay. Mm, it does have some distortion nope. there, but yeah, no. Yeah, he must just be must be a post thing or something. Fantastic, Vani underscore Rotten. Uh, definitely go follow Mitch. All right, we're getting there. We're getting there. Um, my pick. I just got done thinking about you know like uh, telling a story and like a simple hero pose can be cool, but. And then, you know, you get a simple hero pose and it's just like, damn, that's nice. <laughs> I like that. I don't care that they're not doing anything. I don't care that there's no stormtroopers in here and he's not. It's just a beautifully mm -hmm. shot, shot, beautifully lit shot. And this is where I was kind of going earlier when I was talking about, I think this is like found object background stuff here. This looks like, I don't know. I don't know what that is. This is like a piece of like plastic from from something that you know they you bought or whatever. I mean, these boxes are obviously the Star Wars boxes and stuff, but I don't yeah. know about this wire and this thing here. I think it's a lot of found object 
uh, stuff. And, and man, it sells the fact that they're standing in front of some ship or, you know, spaceport or whatever. Um, mm -hmm. Great casual pose on Han. Han's foot is actually touching that piece so that he's, he's actually leaning on it and he's not, you know, weirdly standing there like that. You know, I don't think this is the best looking Chewbacca. I've got this Chewbacca. It's nice looking, but uh, it's hard to do a plastic Chewbacca. But man, love yeah. it. Love the 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 paint on his uh, the the light on his face makes the paint look great. I don't know. I just it, it caught my eye and I was like, it wouldn't let me go. So I had to pick yeah, it. It's really really good. The stuff. Look on Chewie's face is perfect for this shot. You know, yeah. he's just kind of yeah, kind of got that half smile going. And I, I've yep. done this, I've done this myself with the background stuff you're talking about. It's like. You just go around the house, you find a bunch of crap, and then you yeah. paint it and you make it look like rusted metal, and yeah. it just works so great for so little money. Yeah. <laughs> just awesome. keep it a little out of focus and so yep. that you can't pick up any details or scratches or scrapes or recyclable symbols or anything like that. <laughs> or take that out in Photoshop if you know how to do right. that. And right. you're, you're good to go. You're good to go. It's great stuff. He's even got um, like Han's face in, in you know, the, the strap of yeah. the... Of you know what I mean? He's not covering anything important. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Well posed. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's got a bunch of shots up here. He had this, this other one too, that I, I really like the action on this one too. looks great. Great mm -hmm. pose on the stormtrooper. Really looks like he's getting hit. Um, yeah, you know, some blaster fire would have been cool, but I understand if you want to do things practically and that's cool. And I, I still like the lighting on this and now you can kind of see some of the other stuff that he's got. I, I don't know what that is, but it could be, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, just just stuff and it looks great it sells that they're in some sort of like spaceport or cargo hold mm -hmm. or something um this is a great one when he's holding yeah. the 3po <laughs> oh, i haven't seen this one that's awesome that's fantastic that's that's some good cool. crossover stuff right there for sure yeah. really really nice um oh, awesome. but yeah uh felipe felipe's been doing it for a long time i've been following felipe for a long time and and again, like just some great, especially Star Wars stuff. If you like Star Wars, mm -hmm. um, really good stuff. Um, again, beautifully lit. You know, sometimes just a portrait, sometimes a little more. Uh, some action, some. Look at that. That's beautiful. Now, this is what we were just talking about. We were just talking about. That's not a hot toy. That's just a simple. Right. Is that a. No, that's that's a Black Series, right? Isn't that. Oh, wait a minute. No, this is the hot toy. Isn't I, this, this is the hot toy? Maybe not black series i don't, th well, I don't think I so because i don't hands look like hot toys that. The, that this is a hot toy yeah this, i think this is the hot toy yeah this is, the is hot it toy. okay it is the hot toy okay but a beautiful shot i really really love that i love the the this the the cut of the shadow across the face like that it's enough it's telling a nice story about the lightsaber really beautiful gorgeous mm -hmm. there you go yeah fabulous it looks like he's got like a pretty pretty well bit built set here for these things um but it still just looks like a bunch of stuff that he found i don't know maybe maybe it's, yeah, not, maybe it's they're probably just all modular pieces that he rearranges you know to give yeah. it a whole different look and you know he's yep. the master at these kind of color tones a lot of his absolutely shots and it's absolutely just so yep pleasing to look at <sighs> beautiful that's you know what's great about this this lightsaber is one of the best lightsabers I've ever seen, man. That's that's spot on. <laughs> that's great. Really yeah, well good. done. And the light, even even just the, the amount of light that's that's reflecting off the for the lightsaber is perfect too. Man, that's good. Wow, yeah. beautiful, good stuff. Uh, Rebel Pelicano, uh, Felipe, uh, go follow them. Amazing stuff. Been at it for quite a while. Yeah, almost 1200 posts wow um, yeah, yeah you're awesome. always going to get something new from i know i'm, I'm always in, in awe of people like that. i haven't even hit a thousand yet it's ridiculous I've been doing this for like 10 years <laughs> it's insane <laughs> so stupid um all right here's another up and comer uh somebody named plastic action hmm. pretty good i just Not bad. yeah good i stuff. just love these you know it yeah the time it took to set this up you know building yeah. the set but also like yep. he does these where, you know, he's picking out years and he, you know, really is kind of telling a story with all the di different movies from the same year. He's done that multiple shots uh, and then just posing him in, in a way to tell a story, a fun story. It's almost like where's Waldo or something, you know what I mean? Where you're trying to mm -hmm. just 
out every character and understand like yeah. okay i'm yeah i remember it's just fun storytelling and how, how yep. we merge it all together and it's incredible different yeah like, all he's these doing that all the time yeah yes yes i know yeah that's who you got the tv you got the windows coming from outside you get a stairs from upstairs it's it's fantastic um yeah he's always doing that kind of stuff with the uh wow what's going on back here with peter and uh padme um <laughs> There's always something going on in the backgrounds of the, even the basketball shots, the, the crowd, you know, somebody talking to somebody else. And I love those little details. It's fantastic. Yeah. He's, it's just always like just a huge scene and amazing lighting, amazing storytelling, uh, and fun, clever, creative stuff all the time from, uh, Jack's plastic action. Um, yeah, I mean, plastic action, if you're not following him. Yeah. I mean, you're probably following him. I'm sure you if you can, uh, uh, if you can make your audience stop and have to stare <laughs> at your photo for five or ten minutes to see, oh, absolutely, everything, you're doing something right. You know, it's a pretty uh, good idea. It's a pretty good idea. I gotta say, that's not a bad idea at all. <laughs> Incredible, and it's just like he's he's got it down. Like he knows what he's doing in terms of like what's your favorite movie from 2022. You know what I mean? And these are all 2022 movies and it stops you in your tracks and you kind of have to look and think about it and you want to respond. So, um, yeah, great stuff. Great stuff. I mean, you know, Jax is the man. We talked about this last, last time he was on here, which I think was just a couple months ago yeah. and he was just doing something for, um, um, what is this? Avis? No, not Avis. Uh, oh, State Farm. Stay, stay farm, right? Stay, well, it's right there. Stay farm. Yeah, exactly. Which is incredible. Um, yeah. Amazing. <laughs> this is, and this, you know, talk about first shots. This was pretty much his first shot, like yeah. eight years ago. You know what I mean? So, you know, when you're looking at your shots and you're going, well, I'm never going to beat. There you go. That was his shot. Oh yeah. yeah this is the one. We but featured, honestly, that's a great first shot too. <laughs> yes, it is. It is a very nice shot. It is a very nice shot. Not to put it down, but it's very simple. Very simple. Um, yeah, I mean, come on, it's Jax. Go follow him if you're not. Um, you'll be another one of the hundreds of thousands of followers that he'll have. Yeah, uh, fantastic, and, a, and just a good guy. And he shares a lot too. He's 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 always uh, you know sharing ideas and stuff like that. So for sure, good dude. All right, um, Vani had something here. Um, the probe was not necessary, but made the tripod setup easier. I see. Okay, I guess he's talking about the the Jerry shot. Um, and it's hiding the fact that his legs are too sh Oh, wait a minute. What are we talking about? Oh, he talking must be the, talking about the, the horse Let's go back one. to the... Uh, Possibly. This one here? Oh, okay. Oh, I see. So he's got, like, chaps on or something like that. So it's hiding the fact that his legs are too short. Oh, okay. Maybe the figure is too, a little too large for the horse or something. So it wouldn't fit in the stirrups, I guess. Maybe. Maybe. Or too yeah. short. Yeah. Yeah. Let's true. see. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, the, oh yeah, his, his feet just don't quite hit the stirrups. Oh yeah, and what a great way to use the horse too. Like you don't even have to bother standing it up. Let's just well, he's probably kneeling it down to get this tree the way he wants it. You know what I mean? Up right. in the background, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, you could prop the tree up, but why not just move the horse? Sure. Yeah, good stuff. Um, all right, moving on. Uh, another one of yours. I guess that's what I did. I must have put two of mine and two of yours in a row. But uh, another uh, repeat um, feature, 97 underscore that. parsecs underscore photography. Yeah. I mean, it, it's got great stuff. I mean, this figure, you, you know, there's just when you can light it the right way and have all those reflections just pop off nicely off the chrome look, it's just... This is one of the cooler figures to shoot, honestly. And he's Absolutely. got some really good action. The framing of the foreground stormtrooper slightly out of focus, but the blasters hitting Love him. It. You know. yep. um, he's got he's you know the detail of him holding the gun away from himself. Like that's a nice touch. I just noticed that. I like that a lot. That's yeah. great. Yeah, but the the so the, the trooper still holding it. You know, it's just that's yep. awesome. Um. The setup, the the scene, you know, the 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 lighting at the top gives it that whole sci-fi vibe. You you just it sells it. I love that it's mirrored too. You know what I mean? Like it's yeah. got a mirror surface you can actually see. 
which is the way, I think is the way it was in the Death Star. Like it, it had that sort of mirror surface and, and bravo for not having a speck of dust on this floor right here. I mean, I'm sure you yeah. cleaned it up a little bit, but damn, like it still looks Point. great. Yeah. Um, yeah. I love that, that little detail because like, that's something again, like you set this up and you go, okay, I want to have him interacting with these things. Maybe this guy was already shot. He's just laying there, right? That's the first thing you'd think. Oh, I'll just have this guy like laying down. But no, mm -hmm. it's, it's, you know, well, let's add a little more uh, interest to it and have him actually grabbing the gun, uh, which is fun. It just feels more like an action shot and something like you might see in the show that would be like, ooh, that was a cool move. Yeah. Um, really, really good. Good, good stuff. Um, and that is, oops, uh, Robert Day. Uh, from across the pond, as they say, 97 underscore parsex photography. I mean, it's phenomenal stuff, man. Um, all this stuff is, is gritty and, um, just really, really well framed. Like you said, in that last shot, um, all, all beautiful work, man. I love this. Yeah. His, his action scenes are incredible and so much going on, so much storytelling, you know, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. just true to the universe most times you know um mm -hmm. incredible oh yeah look at that the lightning great use of that lightning too yeah yeah fantastic i wonder the what is, is this the, uh, has he got a bts on this now just curious if that's the full size uh mm. the old uh exactly colors on this gorgeous yeah beautiful wow this was in march too i i'm surprised i like this one i don't i might have saved this i don't know this is what happens kids like i, I see things I'm like I'm, I'm like oh i forgot to save that i should have saved that and then i just i move on but yeah i mean crazy nuts action scenes um great environments great framing good good stuff wow oh, beautiful drawn to the colors on this wow that's awesome yeah that's cool that's beautiful i want to see more bts <laughs> yeah i'm wondering if in the reels i don't i don't know if he does a lot of reels in bts but uh i don't know why it's not loading reels don't seem to be loading for me but uh He's got some BTS up here. Here's some behind the scenes 12. So mm, okay. Got... Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. I guess that's a story. There we go. Cool. Cool. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. What a great setup. Yeah. Again, just really good choices of posing. That arm up. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, look at reference you know for something somebody like that dragging that that, that person just isn't like you know just the, they're right. fighting you know what i mean they're fighting to get away from you they're they're grabbing the ground they're it's uh that's what you got to do wow look at that Great. that's epic yeah it's awesome so simple oh i think those are those rocks from uh amazon that i was looking at there it's it's definitely oh, really? um yeah, they're definitely aquarium like rocks. I mean, yeah, just like pet petco things. But those, man, those look great. Especially good yeah. for that scale, man. That's really cool. Um, let me go back. Ninety-seven underscore parsex photography. Robert Day. Um, definitely, definitely follow. Okay, we are down to. Ooh, this is our last one. Is it? This is our last one. Yeah, this is our last one. And I think this is your pick as well. I swear I had, I, I must have screwed something up. I, I'm hoping I'm not forgetting anybody. Let me just make sure I'm not forgetting anybody because I don't want to do that twice. I think I had everybody in here. Let's see. I, um, I messaged you earlier with everybody that was in it. So let me go check that out. We had Cyril Mallet. We had Not a Bird, Not a Plane. We had, oh, it is not the last one. <laughs> All right. Let's talk about this one. We talk about this one. I'm going to pull up the uh, the other one while we talk about this one because I screwed oh, up. Oh yeah, again. this yeah collector's orbit just kind of a mashup king as well. Um, mm -hmm. Love these kind of 
stories. You know, I think Batman might have teamed up with Predator at one point in the comics. I'm not sure, but this is just yes. Actually, there was a Batman oh. versus Predator comic. Book. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. But the details, the, the the action in all of his scenes, the you know. It's just the fact that Batman's holding a gun is jarring in itself, you know, it makes you yeah. stop and look. Um, but then Predator's got his, you know, wrist blades right through the head of an alien. The other yeah. alien, you know, is is just perfectly posed so you can see its mouth coming from behind, you know. Yep. The, the, the David's got it. these these alien shots. <laughs> He's like yeah. Like he could direct a film at this point because yeah. he just has this. He's got a set. I think he's got a couple pieces, but that background that you see back there is something he built, and it is like the perfect alien nest looking set. And every time he shoots it, it's you know there's something familiar about it, but he used, shoots it in a different way with different lighting, with different figures, and it looks incredible every time. Um, yeah, I even like the fact that like, now that you pull, call that out, like the fact that he used the the, the scratched um, version of the Batman as if, you know, maybe they were fighting you know, <laughs> prior to this, or maybe that was an alien scar, but it looks more like, like a predator. Uh, and then they were just forced to work together or whatever. But um, mm -hmm. yeah, beautiful. His lighting is killer on these things. It's always just matches the tone of those movies or what you'd like those movies to be. Um, yeah amazing amazing stuff look at that so there is there it is look at look at that and i love how he does this so he's got a handheld overall overhead light so he's just holding something um he's got a couple of these leds with some gels in him for the blue he's bouncing some stuff over here a little bit of the purple light bouncing some stuff mm -hmm. over here just uh you know just <laughs> you know, doing the doing the uh the the found bounce card of the piece of styrofoam that he's got a little cone on his, uh, loom cube over here or whatever it is. Are you Lonzi? Uh, crazy good. You know, I even like the, the Wayland sign back there. That's great. Uh, you can't even see that in there, but it's fantastic. Yeah. So jealous of that dial. It's awesome. Hell yeah. I know. I know. Right. For anything, but I mean, especially aliens. It's incredible. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I mean, just go through here. It, if, if you're an alien fan, if you're a predator, if you're a Robocop, if you're a Terminator fan, um, you know, this is your page, man. This guy just nails these things. I mean, the look and feel, you can tell he's a fan of these things. You can tell, uh, you know, he's got the, the love for these things and this is great too. He will show you what he does. Uh, you know, I, I like people who show BTS. I try to do that when I can and when I remember to, but, um, you know, this is how you can do this. And this is how people get, um, you know, good, you know, coming out, coming out of the, 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 um, out the gate. You know what I mean? The yeah. people will help them out. Um, yep. man, it's so freaking good. There you go. They were fighting. This is prior to getting the scratches too. It's awesome. I got to find one of his alien shots. I mean, these are nuts. There's a lot to choose from. Look at that. Yeah, that is damn man. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. He, he he owns these things, man. He just, he just owns it. Um, there, there's just one. There was one. Oh yeah, one of these. This this kind of stuff. These guys are coming in here. The Marines are coming in. Man, unreal. <laughs> just yeah. beautiful. Really, really fantastic. Good guy too. Um, Collectors dot orbit, and that is David uh go follow him man if you're if you're into any of this stuff man even if you're not who cares uh incredible just nails the look of every one of these things beautiful 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 all right this is let me just double check again <laughs> to see if i missed anybody here because i did have this open first and i must have accidentally hit uh the tab which is probably what i did last month all right and this is one i do not want to miss because uh very very happy to see this person in here. And I know they're in here with us live. And I'm sorry that uh, I, I left this uh, for last, Chris. But uh, it's it's a great one. So um, I'm, I'm happy to see it uh, in here. So there you go. Um, Crimson Viper, uh, Outer Space. I just, this is the Waltor figure uh, from um, Cosmic Legions. And 
it's just beautiful lighting it's a simple shot mm-hmm. uh i love the the fact that it's not perfectly centered it's a little offset um i love the skull that he used in this um very you know alien skull i mean it's it's simple but it's beautiful man <laughs> it's really nicely done it's not overly lit with the green it's not overly lit with the purple it's got some reflections as if there's some motivated lighting going off here maybe he's on a spaceship maybe he's in a you know whatever alien city or something i don't know but like just beautifully lit again like we were talking about earlier not trying to overlight this but there's enough light here to give you the definition and the details of the suit without having to like light it up you know what i mean i love it yeah it's gorgeous is that the actual um skull head that comes with this figure or is that is this kind of like a custom it's a bonus that comes with the the legions con figure if you got it there so uh, yeah it does pop in there but it's a cool looking it's a cool looking skull definitely a cool looking skull um and it i'm glad he went with this as opposed to just a standard skull because a lot of people have done that you know skeleton spaceman it's a thing yeah still look beautiful it would still look beautiful if he lit it like this but i'm glad he went with the alien skull um yeah it's just it's a gorgeous shot man it really yeah. sometimes i look at this stuff and i go like ah, man i just got to do something simple like that you know what i mean and it's not simple that the so- shot is simple but it's just a simple subject well composed well lit and it looks beautiful and it's moody and it you know, yeah. even though there's nothing else but a head here, it kind of, I still get a story out of this. You know what I mean? I can mm-hmm. still make up a story in my head. So, and Crimson's always on uh, Maz's channel. He's, you know, he's open. We've, we've been critiquing him. Um, yeah, he's, he's been doing it for a while. Uh, he's got some great stuff. Like this, this, I remember this one. This one was fantastic. Uh, yeah. I still think you need to take down, take, take this down a little bit, just a little bit. <laughs> the watermark. Uh, but man, like great. Ooh, that's another good one right there. That's beautiful. Yeah. That's cool. That's I love cool. the condensation in the head there, man. That's really yeah. cool. I want to crack one of these things. I think, I think somebody did that. I think Pablo might've done that. Yeah. Like, there you go. Like that. Just laying in the ground. That's in great lighting too. Beautiful stuff. Yeah. I mean, uh, oh, this, yeah, we just went over this the other day. This was a great shot too. Oh yeah. Really nice. Just a nice pileup of people like attacking and yeah. the look on the, just the pose on the, the dragonborn there looking like he's kind of going down slowly. And, yeah. You know, the arrow out of his enough. back. Yep. Back and the side and everything. Really good stuff. Um, yeah. Ooh, he's got some BTS. Oh, awesome. Love that combo. Good, good stuff. Plunderlings, you got your pops, um, everything, man. Star Wars, that's beautiful. Mm-hmm. I already like that one. Uh, really good pop stuff, too. I guess this isn't pops. This is something, this is the bomb, bombshell by Funko. Okay. That's beautiful. Yeah. I like it's a lot of good, fun. nice pop shot. You know what I mean? Like nicely yeah. lit. The underlighting on the, on the face is nice. They're yeah. tricky to do sometimes. Crimson Viper 1138, Christopher Wright. Uh, go give him a follow, man. He's he's good. He's very, very good. He's got uh he's looking for two thousand followers. So let's get him to two thousand followers. We got uh we had like thirty people in here. If we could get uh you know everybody in here, he's he'll be at he's only needs twenty six people. If everybody right now, maybe not right now, but on your phone. If you're on not on your phone right now, or even if you are, just you know, flick up YouTube and keep it open or whatever and Go over there and, and give uh, Chris a like, and let's get him. Let's see if we can get him to two thousand before the show's over. Uh, use crumpled aluminum foil for the background on the bottom. Oh, really? Let me go back to that for a second. Oh, very nice. Yeah, and you get the bokeh, you get the, the lights bouncing off of that. That's a nice. That's a nice idea. Very nice. Good stuff, man. Good, good stuff. I love that portrait too. I just oh, followed him. Too. There you go. All right. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. All right. Cool. Uh, so that's it. That's our, that's the show. I did, I did want to go back to your page really quick and, uh, just show people some of the, um, just talk a little bit about your product photography too, cause you've been doing this for, mm. um, combat creatures, right? Uh, yeah, I did is, four of their figures. Yep. These you, are you're, awesome you're shots, on. man. 
Oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, you're spot on about, um, you know, this is where, you know, you could have easily made this a silhouette. There's a bright back light, you know, and yeah, you could have easily made it dark and brought that yeah. kind of look to it easily and hidden some of this uh, stuff in the shadows, but like, that's a cool yeah. belt. You got to see the cool belt. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So yeah. then you, you, you know, you're, you're brightening up and you know, it's stylized. So maybe it's not hyper realistic, but you've got to see the detail in the product. So yeah, you called it out. No, you, this is a great balance. This is a product shot. That's a great balance. I mean, you're, you're, you even got a little smoke here and stuff, but there's enough here to sell the figure excuse me, not hide any details on the figure and yet still give it a dramatic feel. Uh, so yeah, you totally nailed it, man. It's great. And look at all, look at all this post-processing. Good Lord. <laughs> it's actually not that much, but it's good. It's good stuff. Yeah. This was actually there one of the, yeah, I always have my Photoshop layers on here. It's only 54 layers. That's a, like, that's a win for me. <laughs> 54. Good Lord, man. <laughs> wow. You and uh, you, you and Tom, I have a lot to. I have to get you guys on live to just to edit one. It'll it'll be like a, a three hour show. Yeah, He's fast though too. You're you're probably fast too. So uh, I'm fast. Fifty four layers. Holy cow! Good lord. Yeah, these are these are just really. I mean, you you totally nailed the environments and stuff for these. Um, really awesome work on these things. Was this a Kickstarter? I forget. Yeah. 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 It was. And it funded? Yeah, I think it did. Yeah. Good. Good, good, good. All right, cool. Yeah, really nice work on this stuff, man. Cool. Do you enjoy that? I did. I enjoyed it. Yeah, I, I it, it yeah. was a little different. Like, it, it was exactly what you said. Like, I, I, I like, I love dramatic lighting. I love stories, yes. like probably over the top storytelling, like, you know, Collector's Orbit, yeah. where there's so much action going on. There's so much to look right. at. I love that kind of storytelling. <laughs> But you, you can't. It's a it's a character <laughs> shot, you know, and yeah. you gotta yep. you gotta keep that in mind. So yeah, um, you gotta take you gotta take the figure and tell a story with a pose, which I think again, going back to like the shark, every one of these, you t told a great story with the poses, um, and that's that's all you, that's what you can do. You know what I mean? And it looks yeah. and just make it look cool and make people go, oh my god, I want that. Um, yeah. Which is that's your job, right? <sighs> all right. I think we're done. Chuck, this is awesome, man. Thank you very much for coming on. I appreciate it. I know it was a, a lot to get all that thing st straightened out, and I was last minute on giving you the uh, the link to the folder and all that stuff, and you were traveling busy, so we pulled it all together. I think we picked some great stuff. Um, it was fun. Appreciate it. What uh, What's coming up for you? Anything? Uh, I've got some uh, Mythic Legion, actually, in, you know, Taking a cue from you, uh, I've got some Mythic Legion stuff coming soon. So Ooh, um, I can't wait to see that. I can't wait that. to see that. Some good Very battle nice. scenes, hopefully. Awesome. Awesome. Can't wait to see that. I love when people pick up Mythic Legions that haven't had them before. Because A, I want to see like what, what you think about the figures, and B, I just love seeing people's different interpretations of it. They're just like they're kind of near and dear whether or not I was working for them or not. I just I, I love them as as figures and stuff. So I'm looking forward yeah. to that for sure. Cool. No, you, um, you tell stories with those those figures. I've been trying to get into the lore a little bit to understand the characters and different things. There's it's there's so much to take in and uh, the detail and uh, is incredible in those. The paint jobs are awesome. It's just. Yeah, and you, gonna, I think knowing you, you're going to love the uh, customization of them too. The ability yeah. to buy some extra heads and pieces that you know that aren't don't come with the figures and mix and match them and stuff to make them unique um, and maybe funny. You know, I mean, because there's a lot of funny stuff there too. Yeah, um, yeah, they're a lot. Of, they're a lot of fun, uh, and I can't wait to see what you uh, you do with them for sure. Um, thanks again, man. I appreciate it. Um, thanks for once again. For, me on. for sure. Once again, it's uh, Chuck. And it's Kill Cutter Photo. Um, go follow him, man. I mean, you're not gonna you're not gonna be sorry. It's a look at turtles. I mean, come on, look at this. Seven nine thousand likes. <laughs> Can't be wrong. Turtles are great. I gotta shoot that some one, more turtles. Good Lord. Yeah, that one surprised me. It's <laughs> <laughs> great. Turtles and basketball, man. Like it's like gold. <laughs> you know what I mean, right. I mean, it's a great photo, and that's the reason it's getting it. But you know, turtles and basketball doesn't hurt um, for sure. 
Um, awesome stuff. Um, my guest on the next show will be the aforementioned capes dot and dot rifles, uh, nice. TJ. Uh, so he will be joining me in May, early May for all the April photos. So, uh, join us then again, Chuck, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you everybody who stuck with us and, uh, watched the show and hit a like. And again, if there's somebody that you think we missed, or if there's somebody you want us to check out, post in the comments, tag them with toy photo bomb at toy photo bomb on the uh, BOM, uh, on Instagram, on their photo, and then we'll see it in our tags and we'll go check it out or text me if you have to. Um, but let us know because we can't see everything. We can't see everything. There's too much and we don't see everything, even the stuff that we follow because that's Instagram. There you go. <laughs> More problems with Instagram. All right, everybody. Thank you very much. Uh, have a great night. We will see you uh, next month. Take care. Bye. Bye guys.